delight, as I mentioned, is the Boy Scout Sun Lee, so we have a very special award tonight for Boy Scout Sun Lee. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is uh, Paul Seymour. I'm acting as the Cup Master this year for Pack 1 and 3. Each year, Pack 1 and 3 and Troop 1 and 3 attend Mass together to emphasize the importance of God in our scouting experience. So I took uh, some time to look at the Bible for some scriptures to support this. And I found many, but here's four of them. The first one is in Ecclesiastes, remember your Creator in the days of your youth. Before the evil days come, the years draw near when you will say, I have no delight in them. The second one is from verse 10. A wise son makes his father glad, but a foolish son is a grief to his mother. The third one is Proverbs 13, I found. A wise son loves correction, but the senseless one needs no rebuke. Proverbs 22. Train a boy in the way he should go, and even when he is old, he will not swerve from it. And then Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. The Boy Scouts of America maintains that no member can grow into the best kind of citizen without recognizing the obligation to God. Since 1910, each scout pledges duty to God and country. Each scout learns to live by the scout law, which states in part that a scout is reverent. Each scout promises to do a good turn daily. Each scout learns values that are consistent with the Christian value system. A religious emblems program has been developed to promote and encourage the spiritual faith in scouting. The Light of Christ emblem is given to Tiger and Wolf Scouts of the Catholic faith. It is designed to help scouts advance in spiritual growth and religious knowledge. The Parvely Day emblem, meaning children of God, is given to Bear and Wheatwood Scouts of the Catholic faith. It is designed to help scouts discover the presence of God in their daily lives as members of their family and parish, and emphasizes the seven sacraments. The Altari Day, a phrase derived from the 23rd Psalm, meaning with joy I come to the altar of God, is presented to Boy Scouts of the Catholic faith. It is designed to help scouts develop a fully Christian way of life. And finally, the Pope Pius XII program is to help older Catholic Scouts and Venturers more fully develop a Christian way of life within a faith community. Participants explore their baptismal call to bring about an awareness of God in three distinct areas, inner self, secular community, and church community. All three are intertwined and impact one's daily, one's daily life. The participant searches the this intertwining to fully understand their primary vocation of giving witness to the God of the Christ. We have several scouts currently working on religious emblems, but they have not finished the requirements to receive the awards tonight. The Packet Troop 1 and 3 would like to thank St. Joseph Holy Name Society for the financial and spiritual support they continue to give us, and we cannot forget the ice cream socials. Now, like the uh, invite Jeff Rosenzweig, the Scoutmaster, to join me for a special presentation. This uh, young fellow to my right is John Murphy. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Murphy joined Boy Scout Troop 3, which was the predecessor to our current Troop 103, early on. Scouting was founded a little over 100 years ago, in 1910. Troop 3 was founded in 1918. One of the uh, primary <coughs> movers in the creation of Troop 3 was Mr. Murphy's grandfather, Thomas Murphy, along with uh, James Baker. At the time, there were 23 scouts in uh, Troop 3. Mr. Murphy's grandfather also was instrumental in the creation of our local council camp, Camp Conawaga. 
Mr. Murphy's uh, father, Nicholas, served also as a uh, scoutmaster, and I think the three generations were, uh, were very, very, very uh, involved in scouting here locally. And we have uh, them to thank for the success that the troop enjoys these days. Now, Mr. Murphy, to my right, was awarded the rank of Eagle Scout in 1941. He was the third Eagle Scout from Troop 103, that right? Shortly uh, after receiving his award, he began his uh, worldly travels. He was uh, serving our country in the Army, stationed down in uh, Panama Canal. Upon his return, he was uh, sent over to the Philadelphia area, worked for a while uh, down in Baltimore, and unfortunately, in the midst of his travels, we learned recently that a lot of his uh, personal belongings that were placed in storage were lost. And included among those uh, items was his eagle emblem. When we learned this, we thought that this would be the appropriate time to represent to Mr. Murphy that emblem that was initially awarded to him probably well, a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, 1940. Seven years. <laughs> 71 so years. It is with uh, great uh, honor 71. and pride that at this moment I present, represent to Mr. Murphy his Eagle Scout. Thank you. Congratulations. 